Welcome everyone to the Plasau Planning Board meeting of Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. Samantha, roll call please. Tim Moore. Here. Jim Peck. Here. Lori Millette. Here. Francine Hart. Here. Jeff Adams. Here. And also in attendance, we have John Cashel, Planning Director. Okay, I'll uh, appoint Jeff for the minutes as a voting member. Um, first item on the agenda is a review and approval of minutes of January 15th. Is there a motion on those minutes? I move we approve the minutes of January 15th, 2020. I'll second it. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Abstain. Okay. Um, <laughs> there are no uh, public hearings scheduled for tonight. And there was an earlier version of the agenda which was incorrect. Um, those public hearings that were um, incorrectly posted will be held on February 19th, I think, yeah. on the third Wednesday in February. Um, so the next item on the agenda is under new business, um, setting a bond amount at 222 Plastow Road, which is uh, PH Electric. And there's a memo from D and the recommendation to set the bond at $14,797.20 and a draft motion accompanying that. Are there any questions on the on the bond? Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Seeing none, is there a motion to? I, I have a comment. Oh, it looks like yeah. there's a typo in the uh, recommendation. Do I, unless I'm missing something. It says the number would be above fourteen thousand seven ninety seven twenty, and then below it says fourteen oh yeah, ninety seven twenty. Oh. which is it? Is it? I would think it would be the 14,797. It, it is. It's, yes, that's the 10% amount. Yep. So yeah. it's on the third page. It's yeah. So which one is correct? What? 14,797. No, uh, no, but the motion. The yeah. motion. Yeah. So it's wrong in the recommendation. Yep. I'll move. We uh, I move that the construction bond for the 222 Plaster Road Map 45 Lot 6 be set at 14,797.20. Is there a second? Second. Motion's been made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Call for a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Okay. Um, the next um, item is uh, you have um, information regarding an, um, Rockingham Planning Commission, Rockingham Economic Development Corporation, Workforce Housing, Charette. Um, this is um, something that um, the Planning Commission and Development REDC um, working together on. Um, and they're looking for one community to host the charrette. Um, you see the list of communities there, Auburn, Derry, Londonderry, Hampstead, Atkinson, Wyndham, Plasto, Salem, Pelham, Hudson, Litchfield, Merrimack, and Nashua. I think those are REDC communities. Um, then there's a, a brochure on um, on the charrette for workforce housing. Um, can glance um, through that what the and what the purpose of the charrette is. And um, any any of the <coughs> communities mentioned, including Plastow, are eligible, eligible to apply. And REDC would, I guess, select the um, a community from the list that applied. Um, 
So if, um, I don't know, is there any, any interest in hosting Le Jurette? I don't have any interest in Plastow doing it. I, I don't even think we need workforce housing. I think we have enough as it is. Okay. We're not required to write the ordinance, right? Uh, no, as long as we you know, keep having the required number of um, houses, which we're, I think the last time we did it, we, um, like 60, 70% of our housing stock of qualified as workforce housing. So we're. And we touched on it on the uh, master plan that we just wrote. Right. The, the other thing right. to could take into consideration, our zoning ordinance does already cover, um, you know, all of the language and, and uses that would provide for workforce housing. It's, it's not that we're negligent as a community. Right. Um, providing yeah. for the opportunity to create workforce housing, those ingredients are already mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. provided for. So it, okay. it, I'd, I'd say this charrette is really for communities that are um, don't have, you know, a, a noticeable amount workforce housing and they also don't have the ordinances that provide for it mm -hmm. so um, you know in Plastow already does that yeah so. all right so it's a consensus then I don't, I don't have a strong mm -hmm. feeling to either way yeah. and, you know I just like to add again is that um, you know your zoning does provide for it in accordance with the New Hampshire statutes and there are opportunities to create workforce housing within the zone than the land that's available. So if there is a need out there, a market need, um, someone will come in um, with the application and we'll be dealing with it site plan wise, special permit wise. Right, yeah, so I'm in agreement with Laurie and Jim. I don't think there's a need for that. It will come. It, yes, it will, own. yes it will. <laughs> in all likelihood. Okay, uh, the next, um, is that everybody oh. agreeing? I think it's consensus. Yeah, consensus, consensus, yeah. Okay. Um, now they're, I mean, they're just looking uh, for a host, so there's nothing that would preclude any of us for signing up for the charade, as far as I know, if somebody was interested in, in going, just that it wouldn't be hosting. Um, the other thing that is coming up, um, I think everybody has the flyer there, is the um, 26th Annual Spring Planning and Zoning Conference held um, Saturday, May 30th. I don't know why they get that date, from 4 to 8 to 4 um, at the Grimponi Center in Concord. Um, this is... Um, would say normally a pretty good conference to go to. Um, there's um, always good topics for planning and zoning. Um, but um, look over, as the flyer says, registration opens April 20th, uh, April 20th, that's, April uh, that's in after 2020. Memorial Day. I just looked on the calendar, so I wasn't sure if it was Memorial Day yeah. or not, but it's after. Yeah. Not to disparage, but it'll probably be the only really nice weekend. <laughs> <laughs> the, a, when, a day you want to be out in your yard, right? When, yes, when, it was last year, I think, yeah, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so I was, I was sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Um, should be more than. January, February. I would think in the next uh, couple weeks, uh, or maybe if you went to their OSI's website, maybe they have a um, sort of an agenda or a program uh, that tells you what the sessions will be. Okay. That would determine whether or not I would be interested in. in yeah, is in it going. kind of thing? I, I did go a few years back, but can you? maybe go to sessions in the morning and you wouldn't have to stay all day kind of yeah you, you can do that and, you know, like kind of yeah. pick some yeah yeah until the agenda can, yeah. comes out because this is just the reference for right. it, but until yeah. the agenda comes out it you know really depends on what the topics that are going to be discussed if they're right. really yeah. worthwhile and they're hot and you want to learn about them mm -hmm. great but, okay 
I think I went last year. This is the NHMA put this, this on? And no. So they, they, they have another one in the fall. Oh, in the fall. Yeah. That's the one I went to. That. Yeah, that's a, that's a two or three day yeah, yeah. Uh, thing. I don't think I've been to this one. Yeah, this, yeah, this one's just a single Saturday. Yeah. I mean, this is typically jam-packed with a lot of info. If you, you know, you really want to you know, pick up some knowledge on the subject matter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It, who, who's the presenters in this? Yeah. Uh, ben Frost is usually the presenter. To bring in different uh, people. Yeah, different lawyers from different uh, uh, land use yeah. uh, law firms. They don't yeah, have the list yet. Yeah, they'll have it later. Um, well, it must be fair, fairly well firmed up because it's not that far away. I mean, it's early February. It's in, in, the, in the mail. It's, it's still a ways away. But... Um, yeah, I mean, you get all kinds of, as John mentioned, a lot of um, a lot of lawyers, um, Ben Frost or someone from New Hampshire um, Housing is typically there. Um, RPCs often, you know, some of their staff does some of the sessions. So. Um, like I say, I mean, look at the agenda and see what the what the topics are. It's really slated to. There's always a lot of. Um, introductory planning and zoning conferences uh, sessions um, so those um, those are usually pretty good um, if you're um, new new to a zoning board or planning board or if you've been here for a while and haven't been to a formal session it's kind of good to get a refresher but um, I wouldn't <clears throat> so you you wouldn't want to go to those sessions for four or five years in a row. It'd be a little a little bored, I would think. But anyway, um, kind of save the save the date in case you there is interest and see what the see what the agenda and sessions are and um, let Dee know so she can get you registered. Uh, then the last um, just just an FYI that came in uh, just this afternoon from Haverhill. Um, they're having a, a public hearing on converting a downtown property to mixed use uh, along the waterfront district. If you're interested in that, um, let us know. Public hearing is on Tuesday, February 25th at 7. So that's... Um, that's all we have. Anyone? Uh, Mr. Speaking? Chairman, could, could you just maybe update uh, the people that are watching on our Davies property, if you can do that? We've been struggling with that for over a year. <laughs> um, yeah, we got uh, a recent update. Um, his appeal to the state Supreme Court to rehear the case was denied. Um, so in terms of New Hampshire courts, he's done all he can do. Um, I, you know, certainly don't know what the eligibility is for anyone to um, appeal to the federal court. I don't know if that option is open to him or not. Uh, but he is um, done in the state, um, and uh, the state has prevailed, and so he will be given a notice to vacate the premise as well as um, his tenants to uh, leave the leave the property uh, so that's that's the latest um, it was something about seven days from serving order. the notice serving of the notice the sheriff yeah. would have the mm -hmm. yeah the eviction notice is ready or well, being vacated. yeah I counted the so, cars there yeah. the other day. It was like 30, 43 or 43. 30, 34, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and it's not a train, finally. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, mm -hmm. over a year yeah. through the courts. Yeah. One other brief thing, um, just for information. Um, there were two positions on the... Um, Planning board and two two people signed up. And, you know, Tim 
you signed up, and uh, a lady named Karen Robinson signed up for the planning board. So there were two position, two people running for two positions. Okay. Just so people know. Very good. Anything else? Is this a record? Is this one? Record meeting? Close. Time. Oh, yes. in terms. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty no. close. Pretty is it, close. Is it? Yeah. Yes. It's within about three minutes. Yeah. Okay. Of the record. Oh, I shouldn't have asked that last question. <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. If um, no one has anything else, we will adjourn at um, six fifty. Great. Yay! That was a piece of Yay. cake, huh?